Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna do one last stream for a little bit more Kingsbane Rogue testing. Uh, this is I'm only gonna stream Kingsbane for I'm gonna cap myself like two hours today out of my four hour stream. Uh, then for the rest of the month, I'm gonna be trying to climb to top twenty five. Uh, spent the last three days testing this stuff, so I don't want to you know I don't want to ruin my chances for end of the season for this stuff. So. Yeah, I, I just had a little bit more ideas. I've been trying this deck for so long now, or at least three days. Uh, I wanted to try to just turn this into an aggro deck. I'm going to coin dagger here instead of for shiny next turn. That'll be my curve. I don't really like coin tar creeper here. Um, my other option is to coin SI7 into tar creeper, because if I coin tar creeper, I can't SI7 on three. Might not be a target. Would, that line would be good only if he plays the 2-2. Two, two. It's too reliant on that. If he hero powers... Like, if I don't use coin dagger and he hero powers, it's very weird. Here we go. Maybe we can get this trade. We could do Tar Creeper on 3 and Kingsbane a size 7 on 4. Murloc. Leaving up two Murlocs here is painful for me. With this many pirates, I think Patches is still good enough. I don't have anything to attack with Kingsbane here. Thinking of even cold blooding this. Hmm. Rather trade for the Murlocs here than the Spellbreaker, because Spellbreaker will still trade. Otherwise, and the Murlocs are a little bit scarier here. Another option is to leave this as a 1-5 and then play Kingsbane SI7. Use the Kingsbane to kill the 1-1. One, one. The 1-5 one, here, I don't like... like I would I would still use the Kingsbane to trade for the Silverhand Murloc rather, rather than the Tar Creeper because of the Cold Blood. Like, the one weapon charge is not worth as much because I want to keep my guy a little bit more healthy since that's still a good Cold Blood target. Uh, I decided to go for this line instead. Good luck today, Strafco. Thank you. This game, I w kind of wish I... coin SI7, actually. Didn't coin Dagger. What does that mean? He might have Divine Favor, Terum. Because he only played one card on five mana, just hero powers. He's trying to... Uh, Get a lot of Murlocs here. <laughs> King's Man again is up for another deck. I'm to half a stream of King's Vein Rogue for today. And then I'm going to be tryharding for the rest of the season. I have eight more days, so I don't want to waste too much more time trying out King's Vein. Uh, it's not a really good sap target, it's such an influential card. If we do sap that, we need to keep his board clean. I'm 
Deadly Poison Minstrel here. Two, three, four, five cards. I opened myself up to Divine Favor. Alternatively, I can go Deadly Poison Corsair. I mean, this is his Divine Favor turn. Um, the problem is these two are hard to activate combo together. I think that playing around Divine Favor is more important here. So I'm going to do this and maybe play the Minstrel next turn. Because this, if I had five cards here, even if I drew Firefly, I'd still have five cards, right? Because the Flame Elemental in my hand. Uh, he has seven mana, so assuming that some of his cards are low mana cards, he can like play a couple in Divine Favor. That would be a three card Divine Favor, I believe, fairly easily. Especially since his turn five was Inquisitor, right? It's very likely he has Divine Favor. I wouldn't even be surprised he has two Divine Favors in his hand right now. We have to blow our dagger here. If we're trying to get the combo for Minstrel. Hopefully we can outvalue him. He's another aggro deck, so I can afford to like not go face that much. I don't have Leeching Poison, but my Kingsman is growing. I have... Um, Ball spine. It's nice. My next turn's pretty good. I have a good tempo lead right now. Both his jugglers are gone. That means that the five one's hard to kill. Patches 2018. I'm not actually too worried about my life because of the Tar Creeper. He's already used his spellbreaker. Ah, uh, there are some lists of double breaker, but nice. You can trade the three. Actually, no, he'll probably attack the three three right with his rallying blade here. I assume so, at least. Yeah. There's not like it's that many good targets for Val Spine against the Weenie deck here. Sunkeeper Terum's already dead. For the most part, it'll be like wide border Murlocs and then he'll buff them. It's better to just keep him off the board. So there we go. That way we don't have to trade any of our minions in here. Very fast clock, by the way, for us. Like if we can keep him off the board, we can kill him super fast here. You don't have lethal with cold blood here. I have exactly 19 damage with cold blood and the sassy deck hand. Seems it's not noble sack. So cold blood is lethal. Actually, Kingsbane should be. I forgot what number it's at, but I think it's at 5, so Kingsbane is as much damage as Cold Blood. We're too off lethal. Something worth two damage. If I had a dagger equipped here, I could kill him with this Terum, but I don't. The two two ones are worth more than one five one because of the term. Wanted to cut down on some Murloc numbers to cut down on random kills he has with like 
Gentle Megasaur plus um, War Leader. Ooh, that might be scary. This is Redemption. If that's a Redemption, we don't have a kill on him. Okay, good, he's dead. I actually could have saved that for that, but I was thinking that I wasn't thinking about that. Like the game was so close, I didn't want to hold the zap. Same person. I feel like our deck is quite weak to Dustbreaker now. Could consider King of Vels fine with coin, but probably not off the coin. Oh, I'm really glad I see the little pirate guy here. It helps because Patches no longer has charge, right? So um, you can't just sassy Captain the North Shark cleric down with the dagger anymore. You actually need them to be on the board beforehand. Assume no potion of madness if he didn't play a turn one here. One thing Sassy Captain does is it forces the coin for Dustbreaker. Um, if we play Shadow, like, are there plays to play Shadow Form, I, I believe? I think it's at least we force out the Dustbreaker, but it is a very high value Dustbreaker. I don't know if Shadow Form is. Great to develop. It's like three mana do nothing. Let's assume he plays slow. It kind of does make sense though, like because what can he do? Uh, let's say he plays Tark of uh, three four guy. Okay, okay, I think I talked myself into it. I, I like this actually more. Because I have Sassy Captain together with Sassy Deckhand as well. Um, he might even still Dustbreaker here, huh? Oh, nice. Because if he doesn't, I just deal a four, 4 health minion. I wouldn't necessarily say that I have to kill this Dustbreaker this turn. I have the Sassy Captain, Sassy Deckhand trade in, but I don't really like Sassy Captain stranded on the battlefield alone. I like this, because it's not like 3 3 trades for the 5 4 by itself, anyways. Uh, I really like saving double 1 drops for Van Cleef. No Vol Spine in her hand right now. 
Might be tempting to cold blood into trade to, for this guy. That's deck can trade for there. Swash and Cleef. Or not Swash, I guess. Things, are, are there plays like the same thing except face, right? It is a lot of damage, but... Divine Divine Inner kills us. Not really. Let's see. Six... Yeah, it does kill us. I think because we're developing multiple threats, we can play around it a little bit. Damage stacks up so fast with pirates. That's a good one. Good thing he didn't have Potion of Madness. I want to play around Dustbreaker, so I don't like Sassy Captain this turn. There's no point in me attacking here, because I can't even read Dagger. My hero power is, is Shadow Form now, right? So. Played that over Bookworm turn six. I think Bookworm would be stronger unless he has a one drop. Oh, okay. Let's see what we get. It's a five five. Five five Sassy Deckhand? Oh. Five five Sassy Captain. Five five Tar Cooper. I had some good targets actually. This is not bad. At least it's the pirates for the Sassy Captain next turn. It might die, but then like if it's five six shirts for that one, then it keeps that five four alive, so it's still effectively like Giving me a pirate, I guess. Technically, Divine Divine Air kills me, but I'm not going to trade at this point. I don't see myself winning. Both together are so good because of Dustbreaker. I can cash in this guy. Does that make sense? Because the weapon doesn't really matter either, right? I guess Captain Greenskin. It is a thing. See, even though I can Dustbreaker this, he would like to trade here and then Dustbreaker everything. So it's still like Pleasant and Dustbreaker. Another Tar Creeper. I do have some Bell Spines left. It should be lethal if I get it. One off lethal right now.
I have enough threats here to play around Dustbreaker a little bit, go wide. Even, like, the chip damage. I only need one more damage, right? Because he heals a 6, I have 5, so I definitely shouldn't attack my weapon because of Captain Greenskin top deck. Also Deadly Poison top deck, like a bunch of stuff. Actually, even Sassy Deckhand top deck. He has two minions at five, so assume that I kind of need a dustbreaker here, anyways. No point playing fire elemental, fire firefly. 